They are fired up for this one. This first guy looking to make his first ever final out of Honolulu, Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen, the man with the beard. He is Madison McKibben. Maddie's partner has got one career win on the AVP tour. He's been waiting a while for the second. This might be it, baby. He is hungry to do it right in front of all of you here in San Francisco. Bring in the fire. He is Ty Roan Loomis. And their opponents. Ladies and gentlemen, they teamed up at the beginning of this year. They've been playing together for a few months, and they are an incredibly fun team to watch out of Huntington Beach, California. Both of them in their first ever semifinal. You are absolutely going to fall in love. First up, the youngster, 24 years young, out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Let me hear it for Cookie. It's Eric Zahn. And Eric's partner, let's flip those numbers. What do we got, are we 42? Are we 42, Ed, is that right? 40, just 40, that was Regat's right. 40 years young, into the semifinals. He would love to get his first AVP Tour victory, and it might happen. Eddie the Eagle is playing lights out right now. Give it up for Ed Ratledge. There you have it. There you have it, everybody. I am Triborn, and I'm joined with you today uh, for this second men's semifinal matchup. And uh, I have a very special guest with me, one of the men's players who was in the quarterfinals yesterday against Ty Loomis and Madison McKibben, who you're looking at. Avery Dros, welcome to the broadcast, Avery. What's up, Tri? Thanks for having me, bud. Absolutely. We got a pretty awesome matchup coming up here. Winners get to play against Slick and Allen in the finals. And we're off. Eric's on into the net there early on. Point for Madison and Ty. It's always fun to watch Madison block. When he gets up high, he has so much time to make decisions. Definitely a, one of the more athletic uh, blockers, high flyers up there. To see him getting his head over the net. Yeah, no problem. And Ty Loomis. Shoddy. Ty Loomis, the only player on the court with an AVP victory. He won back in 2009 with Casey Patterson on Coney Island. You know, I had the, I had the unfortunate experience of... Wow, Ty. Tasting that line. Yes. Beautiful wrist away serve, Ty Loomis. Spader. I had the unfortunate experience of playing against Ty Loomis in uh, unconscious Ty Loomis mode yesterday afternoon when he was really firing on all cylinders. And when he gets it going, he's a side out machine, blast a jump serve. Then he starts digging balls like that, start coming up, and he's, a, he's an all around weapon for sure. Definitely hard to play against when he's on. He's uh, got that experience, been in this situation before, so definitely uh, it's big for Madison McKibben, someone who hasn't been in this situation before, to to have him on his side. And another guy that hasn't been in this situation before is Eric Zahn, never made an AVP semifinal. That's right. And uh, we'll see who, uh, who kind of is, is able to pull it out from the youngsters here. Yeah. It's amazing to think that either Eric Zahn or, or Madison McKibben is going to be in a final this weekend. Um, both of them were in qualifiers just a short time ago. A uh, very short time ago. We've seen a lot of games jump out to, to fast starts for, for one side or the other throughout this tournament. There's been a lot of 6-1, 5-2 kind of side changes while guys are feeling out some of the Nice scrolling. serve wow. by Madison. The ace serve. It's a quick start for time. Madison, 6-1. Six, 6-1, one. Six one. wow, this thing is getting away from Ratledge and Zahn uh, early here, but yeah. still very early. Five points is it's not that big. It's, it's definitely a big lead in the beginning, but <laughs> it's it ain't over yet. Uh, we got out to a good lead and kept it going through the first set yesterday in our match against, uh, against Maddie and Ty, but 
they, they recovered real, real fast. And early leads are nothing to get comfortable with. Here we go, Eddie Ratledge, 40-year-old. He has plenty of experience himself. Actually, not in this situation. He's never won a tournament or even been to a final, but definitely been playing for years. And uh, he's one of those crafty veterans. Yeah. As Tyrone Loomis looks to get the fans going here. Yep. I've always found that Ed is really good at slowing the game down. When you get into a situation in a close match with Ed, he slows the tempo down. He takes his time. He'll he'll slow 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 his heart rate down and kind of slow yours down and, and make the match go at the speed he wants to play at. And it's you can tell that he's had a lot of experience and just played a lot of games. Here we go, Eric's on back to serve, going at Madison McKibben. Big crush by Madison. There you see his athleticism, the big lefty. Yeah. Crushing balls, great start for them right here. Yeah. Maddie, Maddie gets up high like that, and then he's decisive at the top of his jump and doesn't hang too long and just makes a, dis makes a good decision. He's pretty hard oh. to stop. Wow, what a dig by Ty there. Giving Madison an opportunity to keep that alive, but it kind of gets caught in the uh, bottom of the tape. 8 4. McKibben and Loomis uh, hanging on to their lead here early. Ty looks like he's in the right spot most of the time on D. Madison going back here. And still choosing to unload. Eric's on in the right spot, but that's a lot of heat coming right at you. Yeah. Gonna need a little help from Ed Ratledge, who's been really quiet here so far in this match. Yeah. Hasn't really been involved, but you know, if they're going at his young partner, Ed Ratledge is gonna need to get himself involved somehow, some way, whether that's on two or or whatever. Uh, you know, the veteran, he's really good on two, so I wouldn't be really surprised. Good. And then something that I'm sure Madison and Ty are aware of that at some point here, you gotta expect Ed Ratledge to start taking swings on two. Yep. Um, but we'll see. So far, he hasn't really done much. Maddie's doing a great job of swinging high at the top of that big jump, and Ed's, uh, Ed's pressing low and tight. Maddie's finding high hands right now, so he, he might have to get up a little bit earlier. Good easy swing by Ty Loomis. Yeah. That's a little too easy for him. Uh, he saw it the whole way. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Seems like the most energized player out here, and uh, it's kind of rubbing off on Madison right now, so if they stick with this, they're going to be deadly. And here's an opportunity. That's oh, a nice stab by Ratledge, and he puts it down. There we go. Ed Ratledge getting going a little bit. Good opportunity, though, to open up that lead from McKibben and Loomis. Yeah. Pretty hot to see two guys with tights on out here. I'll try. <laughs> pretty hot weather. You pretty, mean? Hot, pretty hot weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, try. Pretty hot weather. <laughs> All right, Ed Ratledge, the lefty, going to McKibben. Nice, smooth. They're staying on McKibben here. Uh, what do you think, Avery? Uh, obviously, Madison's a younger player, not experienced in this situation, but he's been pretty smooth so far. And uh, do you stick on him, or, or if it's you guys, do you switch it up to Ty Loomis uh, here? You know, I, th I think the game plan coming in would be to test Maddie in this situation a little bit more. And, and, you know, like we were saying, it looks like Ty's been in a really nice side out rhythm. Um, but I'm not seeing much out of Maddie's body language or anything that makes him look like he's indecisive or hesitant. He's, he's being real crispy and, and doing the right thing. So if he does that much longer with the score being what it is, might be forced to try and go the other way. They're staying on McKibben. And he's staying steady. Nice, clean, high swing right really, there. Really crispy, yeah. Very smart. Not going too low, giving Ed Ratledge a chance. Kind of taking Ed out of the game. And Eric Zahn's been kind of quiet himself here. Uh, not much coming off uh, the side of Zahn and Ratledge quite yet. But uh, they're obviously here in the semis for a reason. So be ready for, oh, no doubt. for a little something. And there's a great swing, goes into the stands, takes off a fan's head. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he threw it back. <laughs> fans are so nice at the AVP Tour, they always give it back. 
Ed's arm swing has always been one of the great mysteries in beach volleyball. He has an approach that comes in pretty slow, but he has that long arm with a lot of range. And he can, he can accelerate and use his wrist to, to swing anywhere on the court. It's one of the hardest guys to get a beat on on D, I think, and blocking. Now, we got a technical timeout here, 13 to 8. Great, great, great start from uh, Loomis and McKibben. Yeah. Uh, it would be unbelievable, especially for me. You know, I grew up with, with Madison McKibben. Uh, yeah. He's kind of like a younger brother to me. Um, his older brother and I uh, uh, were college roommates and, and also grew up together. And uh, I mean, Madison McKibben might be in his first final here in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Riley is back home watching and uh, super proud of his brother, but he wishes he was out here with him. Uh, For sure. Experiencing it with him. Riley broke his hand uh, in the first tournament of the year, which is obviously really unfortunate yeah. uh, timing for him but it's been really cool to see Madison's growth throughout the season um, yeah. Riley actually helped coach him a little bit and uh, it's crazy to, th to think that Madison might be in his first final here and have a chance to, to win an AVP yeah. um, and he's got the right partner right now he, he made yeah. the right switch and uh, got, the, got, the, got the veteran partner who's been here before to, to kind of show him the way and, and lean For on sure. him and uh, it's been playing great. And uh, I think it was kind of only a matter of time and, uh, until Madison got himself into this situation. Yeah. Yeah, there's not many people on the, in the volleyball world, especially on the tour, who don't like Madison McKibben. He's a, he's a great dude, and I think everyone is, everyone's going to be happy to see him get that opportunity and when it comes. And there he is, imposing his him. will at the net. That huge block of his. Big vert, yeah. Staying confident, yeah. Nice wide, wide block there. Here we go, Eric Zahn. See if he can get something going here. It's been good all weekend, but oh, not man. getting anything going at this point. Not much energy either. Obviously, he's staying steady and, and kind of keeping the same composure here, but things aren't going his way. So he might need a. Maybe Ed Ratledge gives him a little energy boost. Nice high swing there. Yeah. They quicken the tempo up a tiny bit on that play. And Eric Zahn's going to have to change something. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he, he relies on beating that sharp angle, and he does that. He does that incredibly well. And if you can get in the way of it, you have a chance. If you're not, have it, if you're not able to stop that sharp angle, he can, he can put it away most all day. And, and, um, He's got to keep creating that for himself, or he's maybe, maybe switch up tempo a little bit like he did there and help get his timing right to that sharp angle and beat the block. 16-9, though, looking good for McKibben and Loomis. Staying on oh, the young Eric Zahn, 24-year-old, and he's in the oh, net. Wow. Yeah, just struggling this first set for Ratledge and Zahn. I'd like to see Ed maybe, you know, bring his partner over. He's, yeah. He's never been, neither of them have been in this situation before, which, which is kind of showing here, but, you know, they got to get something going. And here we go. At least they gave this serve to Yeah, Ed takes the middle. Ed swings right at Loomis, and Madison gets wow. the block. This thing is getting away from him. Yeah. Madison feeling it. Now let's keep in mind, Avery, I mean, you've, you've been on the winning end of these kind of victories and the losing end, I'm sure For we sure. all have. Oh yeah. What's it like coming out in the second set? Not that this is over yet, but Eric Zahn gets him to double digits. Yeah. But I mean, you win one set, it doesn't matter, right? The, the, the next set, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, the next set's 0-0, zero, zero, and it, I'll be really interested to see if this set does keep going the way it's going and it ends up with for uh, Ty and Maddie. What happens in the very first couple points of the second set? Um, if Ed and Ed and Eric are able to maybe get a 2-0 lead or a, or a 5-2 switch or something like that coming out of the gate in the second set, you know, then you're just dealing with a totally different ball game, and then might feel like they're able to assert themselves on the Tyrone. game. Tyrone, yeah. right now, I'm feeling it. Yeah, Ty's just got a pep in his step. He realizes that. Honestly, he's the only one on the court that has that energy. It's rubbing off on Madison, and uh, yep. Ed and, and Eric just aren't matching it right now. It's just simple, yeah. simple kind of energy that's that's being lacked on on the 
Ratledge and Zahn side of the court right now, but yeah. I mean that can turn turn around at any moment. You know, yeah. they go to the bench, talk it for out, sure. and then come out fired up. Yeah, it looks like they might be waiting for something to crack open for for them to find some little chink in the armor for uh, for Ty and Madison that they can start working on. It gives them a little hope that they have a. They're staying aggressive right through the block of Ed Ratledge, yep. and the, now they take a timeout. This might be the kind of timeout where they're they're going to start setting up already for what they want to do in the second. They might be thinking about about how they want to run this next play, and then and then what the what that's going to establish for them in the second. But you know, like we're saying. The first couple points of the second set can can totally flip the momentum that we're seeing here in the first. And it, it happened yesterday, happened yesterday in uh, in our match, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see. There you see uh, Ed Ratledge kind of he's saying something to Eric Zahn, and uh, Zahn's kind of listening there. So they're staying pretty calm. So hopefully, you know, I'm sure they're trusting their game. They got here for a reason. Yeah. Uh, they got here playing their style, so no re no reason to change it up, but they're definitely going to have to bring something different uh, or else Madison and Ty are going to run away with this one and uh, they're going to get to their first final as a team in their first tournament together or second tournament together. And, uh, yeah, or second, second or third? Second, I believe. Second. Yeah. Yeah, they, they Madison just, staying down on this float serve, save his legs probably. And Zahn forces an angle in the net and yeah. out. Blowout in the first set. Yeah. McKibben and Loomis take that one. 21-11. 21-11 and, and everything looked real confident the whole way through there. And uh, just the way they move to the bench, you get the sense that they can taste it right now. The biggest thing I'm thinking here is Madison and Ty cannot take the bait here and, and, and feel like, wow, we're, we're crushing them. Oh, for this sure. is a completely different set. For sure. 100% you have to come out neutral and ready and 100% expect Eric Zahn and Ed Ratlich to come out playing their best ball. Of you got to expect. It is time for our clean skin serving contest. Come on out next to each of your respective volleyballs. Here's what we're gonna do. We gotta stay protected in the sun, so we're putting on SPF 50 clean skin sunscreen on both your arms, both your legs, on the face. Make sure you get the nosy. And then once you got everything covered, we're serving a ball to that side. You run over, you've gotta serve a ball to this side. First person to get two serves in is the winner. You guys ready? You know what you're doing? We ready? We ready for this? Clean skin serving contest. Let's do it in three, two, one, go. Okay, I like it. Act like you want it. Here we go, to the legs. I see it on your legs. Okay, you're good. It's on the legs. I see you. To the nose, to the face. On the face, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First to get two serves in. Chris, yes. We're gonna count it. Here we go, here we go. To this side. Next one to get a serve in is the winner. Yeah, just serve it in, baby. For the win, it is. Yeah, it's Chris. Chris for the win, that's it. I know, he got two. That's it, nice job, Jenny. Nice job, Chris, taking home a clean skin prize pack. Nice job, baby. Sorry about that again to the referees. Nice fun uh, game there by Mark Sherman down on center court. Oh yeah. We're back and we see Ty and Maddie jogging out on the court like they want this, like they're ready to play, and Ed and Zahn taking their time, walking out. Here we go. All right. They're back at it. Let's see who grabs the first point. Big, big moment. And that's a huge start All right. for Eric Zahn. He needed that, he needed a little confidence booster coming out. Yeah, it's confidence swing. I want to see a little fire out of him. Every once in a while, he's, you know, chatting through the net or like screaming or something. Yeah. And right now, he's just kind of staying steady. Yeah. I want to see if, if Ed changes up his timing on his block a little bit. Oh, well, first they, they go to tie. That's different. 
Try to switch something up and, and Ty does Ty what he does. No, it's it's not the best idea to go at him right now. Ty smashed angle. That's weird. <laughs> But he's been hitting that so well. He's Madison. been hitting it with fast arm and confident. Madison's staying down. They're staying on Eric's arm. Nice high swing by Eric. Good vision. That's good vision. Yeah. Let's see if they've made the commitment to switch up to Ty altogether and they go, see if they go to him for a few points. They do. Yeah. Ty's job right there is to make sure they go right back at Madison as quick as yeah. possible. Yeah. He said, he said, don't serve me, son. Is that what he said? I'm, I'm sure I'm, you I'm, assu I'm assuming that's what he said. No, no. It sounds like Ty Loomis kind of language. A 38-year-old out of Laguna Beach, California. Yep. Homage to our, to our friend Ed Lennon. We miss him. Maddie climbs the ref stand. <laughs> <laughs> those things tip over a lot easier than you think. You gotta be careful with those. One of the strengths of Zahn's game is, is his jumpy. And he's on the tougher side to hit it right now. But yeah, trying to, find, trying to find something with it. Nice, nice dig there by Zahn, getting in the right spot, and Ty again. That's a good shot. Slicing and dicing. I still like the swing from Maddie. That's just taking a good rip at the top of that huge jump. You know, there were times I, I watched Madison play where he would get to his full height and hang around in the air for a long time and maybe hit a shot on the way down and not take advantage of that, of his full height. And when he's hitting high like that. That ball goes out, no touch off the block. 4-3, uh, Loomis McKibben. Madison played uh, outside hitter and opposite at USC. Played with me for a few years there. Me and his brother, of course, Riley McKibben. And uh, kind of been a natural beach player his whole life. Played a little bit of professional indoors over in Greece, but made the switch quickly back. Uses and, both uh, hands. He and, he and his brother have been kind of creeping in on. Ooh, just out. That one goes like an inch out. Yeah. But uh, Riley, Mc, Riley and Maddie have been kind of creeping up the rankings over the last year. And For sure. Obviously, right when Riley got hurt, Maddie had to kind of go do it on his own. But yeah. Um, well, there were lots of guys who were eager to play with Maddie. Everyone knows how good he is. Another clean side out by Ty. Wow, right on the linea. Ed Rattledge not really able to impose his will at all yet this match, especially at the net. Yeah. And he's just staying we're, quiet, we're which I don't really I don't really like a quiet Ed Rattledge. When he's talking, when he's <laughs> confident and having fun is is when he's uh, playing best. Well that's a good shot. Inside set, Eric does like the poke back to the line. Sometimes we call that the Steino pokey. And he tried it a minute ago, and Maddie got a hand on it on the swat that went about an inch out of bounds. And just now, Ty kind of knew the scouting report and made that move on D to that short line poke over, and Eric went the other way. Eric's on. Trying his jump serve out, but yeah. it's not going yet. Yeah. I mean, you see these flags are blowing a little bit, but not like it's been the last couple of days. There's not a ton of wind to bring the ball down. There's that Rattledge, nice, uh, nice deep swing. That sets a little off the net. It's hard as a blocker to, to seal that angle off. Yeah. Maddie kind of showed a little line and was diving into the angle, but it's tough to, Man. that's a tough ball to block, a smart swing by really Rattledge. Guys have been saying that Ed is playing some of the best volleyball of his life, and one of the things he's doing differently is, oh, I'm a little trickle play here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, a lot of, oh, just out. A lot of kind of yeah. improving going on yeah. out there. Some good covers and touches. Sc scramble plays going on. Yep. And, uh, Madison almost gets the block again. Yeah, he's on time. His his block looks looks like he has a feel. 
Ed's doing a better job of swinging high, deep, hard in the in the deep corner. Better than I think we've seen him do in the past. He was. Oh, oh wow. Unfortunate roll from Eric Zahn. Madison hits the really sharp, nice cut shot. Yeah. Zahn's actually there, but it hits the tape and Zahn ends up outrunning it. Look, he's here and then it slowed down on the tape. Yeah, so kind of bounced over his head. Ended up going over his head. Yeah, Ed with his length, if he's reaching and swinging to that high deep corner instead of trying to shave it off a really sharp angle, you know, then what do you do to stop that high swing? There's another high swing. So even though it feels like, still feels like Ed and Eric are trying to break through, they've got it real tight here in this set. I mean. 8-7, Zahn and Ratledge. Looks like Eric's gonna float. I mean, looking at Ty. Ooh, nice. Yeah, Dang, yeah. And the ref's gonna call that. Yeah. So that was a shot. It wasn't hard driven. Right. And uh, the ref's gonna call that every time. Zahn and Ratledge, the three seed here. Definitely their highest seeding they've gotten. There's uh, four teams, I believe, overseas playing in Stad, Switzerland. Five, huh? Phil, oh, five teams. Yeah. And Phil Dahlhauser and Nick Lucena, the top American team, took the gold medal yep. in the five-star event out in Stad. They're missed here this weekend a little bit, but not by the guys on the court. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with them being out there. And, but very, very happy for oh, them wow. that they got the win. That oh, is goodness. Ugly. Sweet backhand flipper by Ed, man, yeah, he's, Ed. He's got that touch. That's not unusual. He does that. Ed making a, yeah. We like to say he just does some weird things, like yeah. look at that play, but it works. It works you know? a lot. And then uh, his partner trying to do something equally as weird. But, yeah. uh, well, Eric, Eric trusts his hands. He trusts his hands in almost any situation. He's not afraid to put his hands on the ball. Just, I don't think he'll change. Not that situation. Yeah, it didn't work there, but. He, he believes in his hand, so good high line. Yeah. 9-9, nine, nine. we got a good uh, good match here in the second. For sure. Let's see who can uh, impose their will here. Yeah. Someone's got to step up and kind of just take over the energy of this match. I feel like no one's really, no one's really stepped up in this set. Oh, boy. Ty Loomis, a little more energy in the first set. Yeah. And uh, obviously that worked for them. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a quiet match so far, in the, or quiet set so far in the second. Yeah. No, I get the sense that both teams are, are still kind of waiting for something to happen that gives them an idea of what to exploit. Oh, that's a nice This up. will give them a little energy if he can put that away, uh, but Ed Ratledge <laughs> finally getting his block. Yeah, on time. Ty wants it back for sure. Good press by Ed, yeah. staying disciplined on that line. Nice up, though. Super nice up. 10-10, who's going to take it to the tech? Here we go. Eric's on, back to serve. Jumpy. Staying with his jump serve. Nice angle Man. swing yeah. with a technical timeout. <laughs> Ty shaking his head while he walks off the court. Don't serve me, son. <laughs> Well, while we got a second here, try. I haven't got a chance to, to say anything about it, but man, my heart is still beating from what we saw happen in the previous men's semi. I'm sure you had your chance to, to yeah, talk so about that. but I, That was obviously a long match. It went three. About halfway through the third set, Billy, uh, Billy Allen and Stafford Slick were, uh, well, they were, they were all neck and neck, but yeah. Stafford Slick actually in the third. A, uh, I talked to him after the match and he said he it was like a muscle spasm actually in like his oblique. Like yeah, yeah. So I, I'm glad it's not like a torn ab or anything like no. that. And he's gonna be able to play through in the final, but they ended up being down 10-14 because for a few plays there Stafford could barely move. Billy was blocking. Billy was blocking, was never really blocked before and uh, He's a good little they blocker, somehow though, man. He's came a good back. blocker. They used the point freeze yeah. to come back. Uh, Billy was kind of a warrior. Reed Pretty made a few errors there at the end that weren't so clutch. But it was uh, it was quite impressive. And the fans here were yeah. going wild. Uh, everyone's <laughs> stoked to see uh, 
the one seed staying alive, I'm sure. It yeah. was, was kind of sad to see Stafford get hurt oh, in that man. moment, but he well, came back and uh, pushed through it, and now he's now he's playing the final for another championship. Yeah. He's third in a row. Go third Ed. final in a row. Oh, that's a nice swing. Just for me as a volleyball player, to the only the emotion I felt the most watching that was just kind of hurt for the guys who who lost that match and you know I know how bad it feels when you when you have something that you think is wrapped up and it gets away and you know the kind of questioning you're gonna have to go through the what ifs for a while. Oh wow. Oh, that ball goes in. Man. It was uh, definitely a deep set. They kind of missed time. Sarkson wishes the, that the ref had called that. Definitely could have, but this is the AVP Tour. They let you dish it a little bit more than you would on the World Tour. Yeah, that's but true. But it needs to come out clean, which it did there. And then yeah. uh, Loomis making a nice kind of backhanded drop shot or uh, over the shoulder drop shot. Yeah, that's a high reach. Going high again off McKibben's block. Yeah, Ty tried to run some tempo there. He tried to run a tempo ball fast to the middle. Uh, Maddie, I think, set it a little bit higher than maybe Ty was expecting, so he was all the way under it, but he improved really nice on that turn back. Got Ed up in the air, and I said, ooh, that's close. That's out, but that's close. All right, halfway through the first set. Let's see who's gonna step up right here. Yeah. McKibben and Loomis, that you gotta think they wanna put this one away quickly, save their legs for the final. But uh, it's gonna be no easy feat as Zahn and Ratledge start to find their rhythm. It's a nice set by Ed. Zahn seems to seems to be attacking a little better now, yeah. and uh, you don't want him to, to get, find his rhythm because he's really uh, been solid throughout the entire tournament. Yeah. Madison is, is doing something he did really well in our match yesterday afternoon. When he feels like he's got something going, he's not waiting long after the whistle. Oh, it's a beat. Good set, good tempo there. Yeah. No, he's not waiting long for the whistle. He feels right now like he's comfortable with a with a short deep serve, going short, going deep, popping the float, and he's he's trying to get it on his guy as soon as he can after the whistle. They're trying to get going downhill. Not, ooh. That's ooh, a nice, nice shotty. Shot That's a nice shotty. See a little bit of the offenses are changing up their tempos. Yeah, a little they bit. are, and uh, makes it hard for the defense. No, I think that's wise. I mean, we're in a side out battle here, and if you stay in the same look for too long, guys are gonna get a beat on you. And so you gotta be able to, to show the different ranges in your offense. And all four of the guys are, honestly. Everyone's siding out pretty clean right now. Zon's gonna jumpy on the bad side. It's a good oh, oh, that ball's oh out. man. Foot out. Nice dig by Zon. Loomis with Kevin keeping their lead. Whew. Here we go, this is crunch time. If that was Doug on the other side, the wind probably would have dropped that. Love that he's staying aggressive. He almost covered himself there. Yeah. A lot of effort. I like that Madison's staying down now. He's it's saving a lot of energy, obviously. Yeah. Relying on Ed oh. Rattledge going out. Wow, there wow. he goes, finally trying to help his partner on two. And that was the right pass I don't know for if he it. he needed to, though. Uh, yeah, it's... When I saw that pass, and I, I saw Ed coming in, and I actually liked the decision at first, but he just kind of mishit it. I don't think it was the worst decision. Oh, Madison, man. still coming through. Ty Loomis throwing sand at him. Man. Look at him. I think Ed's still thinking about that last pointing. ball on two. Yeah. Tio. Talking to someone in the stands. Madison is <laughs> feeling it. Ty is pumping up the crowd. Yeah. I gotta love it. You gotta, you know everyone back in Hawaii is uh, yeah. stoked right now watching Madison Hawaiians. potentially make his first final. Yeah. Of course, we already had a, a Hawaiian win his first tournament in New York, Taylor Crab. Taylor Crab. Someone that was actually on Madison's team growing up. They played together in high school. Yeah. And uh, it will be the third Hawaiian yep. in the past few years, including myself, to uh, oh yeah, to be uh, competing for a title on the AVP Tour. We'll try. You've won. Taylor has won. Madison might have his chance today. 
Trevor Crabb is going to get his anytime now, and you know he wants it bad. Riley's licking his chops. Riley wants it. For Riley his wants it. Heel. Spencer McLaughlin, where are you at? Dude? Gotta, Spencer's coaching now. Spencer might need to come back because it looks like looks like Hawaiians are just <laughs> manifest destiny, man, to win. Yeah, you know we all. Uh, baby court, us baby five court. actually all grew up, including Spencer, yep. who's coaching now. Uh, we all grew up playing together. We learned this game together, kind of beating up on each other, beating yep. up on Madison and Taylor because they were the younger ones. <laughs> uh, they're about two years younger than us. Yeah. Uh, Riley and I and, uh, and Trevor. And uh, it's, it's cool to see everyone having success out here. And, uh, yeah. and uh, we're all still young. So the Hawaiian, Hawaiian takeover is initiated. And Madison's holding it oh. down for all of us right now. Loomis can't come up with that dig. Might have been wide. Might have been wide, but he stabbed it. Interesting to see what they're, how they're going to serve out of that timeout, what they want to do with it. Here we go, Ed Ratledge going to float to Loomis. Floaty Let's towards see the if line. Loomis stays consistent here. He goes tempo. Zon's all over the cut. Nice trans set. Madison oh. again. Really, Madison? Is this oh. your coming out party or what? Man, he committed to the Pressure tendency. Is on. He committed he on that block. Steady. This is really impressive. I've watched Madison play so much over the years, and and this is the best volleyball I've, I've seen him play so far. And uh, of course, the best is yet to come. Yeah. Eric Zahn oh. hitting that out, staying aggressive. Good for him for, for staying Man. aggressive on Madison's block right now. But there was a lot of pop on that swing, and that was, that was, I think it was out try, but that was close. That was close. Ty Loomis pumping up the crowd. This one is they're, getting they're away two from points away. And Ratledge. And, hey. Oh my gosh. Hey, but nobody forget the freeze. Exactly. If they can keep it within a few points, they're going to have a chance here at the end. Go, Maddie. Oh, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Yeah, you know, when you're down when you're down in a set that you need to win on the AVP tour these days, a thing to keep in mind is just one point at a time, think about getting it as close as you can before the freeze. You know, even if you're down several points, you can just think to yourself, one at a time, how many can I shave off before we freeze it? And you get into that situation and the pressure shifts immediately to the other team to put the final nail in the coffin. I'll tell you something right now, 19, six, uh, 2016 is a lot better than 17, 19 right here. Oh, this for is a sure. huge point. Oh, and Zong man. gives it to him, hands them match point. Yeah. And uh, I don't think he liked his toss. It's a big moment right here. Yeah, yeah. Madison McKibben might get his first trip to the finals, and Tyrone Loomis will be back there for the first time. In a long since time. 2009. Yeah. Huge moment for these guys. Ty had See a what close. happens. For the match, oh, Madison no. McKibben. Oh Ace my goodness. On the back line. Look at these guys. They're wow. so stoked. Look at them. Man. Couldn't be more stoked for these boys. Yeah. There it is. And you're not done yet, gentlemen. Wow. I'll give you about five minutes to celebrate. Hey. <laughs> and, uh, and they'll take that five minutes. Throwing, but uh, throwing some dad. Ty wants all the five of those minutes. He'll take it. <laughs> but uh, it ain't over yet, gentlemen. Man. We got one more to win. Yeah. The one seed, Billy and Stafford. Take yep. it in, Madison McKibben. Wow. Pump for you, Maddie. MVP of that match. Pump for you, Maddie. Dominating yeah. at the net. Hey. I said it yesterday a few times. I obviously I wanted to win bad, and I really wanted to get my to get my partner Chase Frischman into his first his first semi on the AVP tour. Uh, I wanted that really bad yesterday. I was disappointed we didn't get it, but so pumped to see Maddie's success.